Sorry, give me just one second. I am, uh... <laughs> hey, Dark Star, what's going on, buddy? Sorry, Cat decided she was going to be a cat. <laughs> okay, I'm almost there. Let's do this. Let's. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, let's, uh... Since you were so kind, thank you, Darkstar, for redeeming Gets On With It. <gasps> Greetings, everybody. Getting on with it. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today, I think, finally, we're going to actually play E6. Oh, yeah, I had to see that coming. <laughs> Sorry. So I think, so Seraph's, <laughs> Seraph has a, um, a theory now going, and I am beginning to suspect that my cat can tell time. Now, I know she can tell time because she wakes me up every morning at six o'clock without fail, like within plus, plus or minus five minutes. So I generally, when I'm streaming, I will almost always stream at like eight o'clock. So in about just about when I hit the button, she immediately started asking for a treat and some more for more food. And I'm just like, you little shit. And now it occurred to me, I'm like. She, of course, like, of course, the cat tells time. She's gotten used to my schedule now. So I think that was, uh, that was leading into it. But greetings, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, <laughs> hello, Crosshair. Glad you're back. I am now back. Uh, so I had a brief interruption here while I took my computer down because my cat decided she's going to chew cables now. So I have completely reconfigured my office to make it cat proof. Uh, I've removed temptation in every conceivable way. Now all of my cables are raised. They're all got kind of embedded within the desk. Uh, my computer, instead of being over here, is now actually over here against the wall. I'm thinking this should work out very nicely. And so we'll see. We'll see because it's only a matter of time before Cleo decides that she's going to come up here and take a look. And it'll be interesting to see what should yet yeah, it'll be interesting to see how she reacts to everything. So just be warned, I may have a cranky co-host, uh, but we'll just deal with it. She's she's adorable and awesome. So uh, I just kind of put up with the chaos she introduces. Today we're gonna play E6. I hope. Now I've tried to play this a couple of times. We actually tried uh last week, and I think I have figured out what the problem was. So this game. Let's let's give a brief summation here. So East 5 came out just for the Super Famicom. It didn't come out in any English speaking country. Neither did East 4. So East 6 was the first game to come to the United States and and pretty much uh and far as I'm aware outside everywhere outside of Japan um after East 3. And so yeah, nobody got East 4, any of the East 4s, nobody got East 5. Only Japan got those that I'm aware of. And so, uh, but even Falcom didn't make another East game after East five for like nine years. And so fast forward from the mid nineties to 2003, where Falcom released, uh, a windows version of E six and then Konami did the localization and the port for the PS two. And they added some CGI and they asked to uh, added voice acting to the game. And the voice acting is spectacularly hilariously awful like last alert memeable hello kitty kitty uh levels of bad uh i actually went onto youtube just to like i remembered it being bad but i had to watch the intro for it just to, to like refresh my memory i'm like it can't have been as bad as i remember it's worse the ps2 version is worse than i remember as far as the voice acting goes but it is a great game and this is the game that revived revived the series from the dead. And uh, as Freakbot was actually mentioning in his channel, a lot of times the sixth of the series is like the revitalization of it. That was definitely the case for Friday the 13th Part 6, one of the best, if not the best version um, installment of that particular series. And um, so I don't I won't I won't call this the best version, but it was certainly really, really good. Now, the combat system and the engine that they built for E6 ended up being the combat system that Falcom used in a bunch of other games, including Trails in the Sky, uh, the remake of E3, which was Oath and Filgana that we already played. So we've, we've already played a revised version of this engine before. 
And Oath and Felgana, as we experienced, granted, Oath and the Felgana was hard as shit, but that game was really fun. Ha ha ha. You can't find any of those cables that you were finding so juicy before, huh? Yeah, you're going to rub up against the desk. You can rub up against the desk all you want. Yes, I know. I love you too. You're a good girl. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. No, 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 no. You can't go back there. But yeah, you could rub up against that just fine. Yep. Feel free. Rub up against that. Yep. I gave you that just so you could rub against it. I know. Hello, Cleo. So my, my feline co-host has already joined us. My day is going good. I ended up just, I, I literally just got some of these things. I had to get a USB three cable to connect from my computer over here over to my monitor over here to actually get the, the mouse and the keyboard to, you know, work with the new configuration. But uh, my day is going good. Um, you know, just trying to keep up with schoolwork. That's always, that's always got me going, you know, uh, life, the life of a grad student, but, uh, my day is going good. My week is going good so far. How's your week going crosshair? It's good to see you. I hope your, your weeks are going lovely. Uh, as we get started here, I just wanted to give a quick summation and, uh, place the context of the game we're playing today and then the greater tapestry of, of the series as a whole and, uh, and all that. So we'll see how much of the game goes over with the plot because the version we're going to play the steam version. I think I finally figured out why the steam version wasn't working by the way. So this game, it was made in 2003 and it really wasn't touched up past that. So if you set the game to any resolution other than a four, three ratio, you get that weird cinematic crunching effect that happened to us when we tried to play this last time. So if you're watching this on YouTube later uh, and you happen to stumble across my video because you're like, hey, why isn't this game like running and how did you get it working? Any resolution that's 4.3, it will accept. So that once I figured that out, I think we'll be able to play the Steam version. And I'm ra I would rather play the Steam version just because, number one, it's, it's, the, it's the version I actually, you know, it's the, once again, the version I paid for. Uh, but I feel more comfortable playing the Steam version versus the emulated version. But we have the emulator just as a backup, just in case the Steam version fucks us again. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. But uh, but that's that's just how it goes. So regardless, uh, we won't have any voice acting. I think that is actually for the best. Having refreshed my memory on the absolutely god awful voice acting. Uh, we're we're ahead of the game here but that uh so so yeah there's there's that so yeah we are playing the game that revised this revived the series let's get to in game here let's fire this up fingers crossed here that this actually works and obs does not work with this game when it's run full screen so that's fun that's super awesome but let's give this a whirl and hope for the best Hey, Deep Fry, how are you? He feels like the dog days of summer. Yep. Perfect, good. The fact that we could see that is a good sign. All right. It's wonderful when things just work, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Volume should be okay. I'm just gonna adjust my screen. Slightly here. Should be okay here. Okay, let's try this again. I still remember when YouTube had the JRPG summer event for Let's Players. Oh man, I missed that. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. What year was that? That was probably a while ago. Yeah, we're playing normal. We are playing normal. We are not playing a uh, harder nightmare for this. <laughs> Granted, I have beaten this game on nightmare, but I'm not doing that to myself on stream. Just 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 no <laughs> no just, just no uh, and we we're playing standard mode here oh yeah that's a while ago man yeah, let's turn that down perfect and let me know if any uh if there are any issues with sound or anything else like that but my levels look good everything seems like it's gonna be okay I was worried when I got the Enslaved Odyssey to the West on PC. Oh? Similar issues? You didn't think it was going to work well? What is that, Isha? Oh, it's nothing. 
I just thought I felt the wind stirring, that's all. The wind? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's really nothing, don't worry. Can I listen to you play some more? I love the sound of your flute. <laughs> I'd be happy to oblige. So, not entirely human uh, characters here. What on earth? Yeah, there's Adol. <laughs> so I'm thinking this version will fill in the gaps that the horrendous CGI didn't include. But regardless, I, I can kind of fill in any gaps of what we may have missed between East 5 and this. Now, this game does take place after East 5, but this game also takes place after East 8. So that's... A little interesting. The the chrono the the actual East chronological order is all over the place in a big mess. He's an Arisian. But how do you wash up here? That's a first for an Arisian. Is he dead? No, he's still breathing at least. But if we don't do something for him soon, Isha, can you watch over him for me? I'll go back to the village and call the others. Okay. He's got no tail. And his ears are so small, too. But his hair is so red, almost like fire. Uh, I was worried about stuttering a resolution on my monitor for Enslaved Odyssey to the West and voice actor is uh, Planet of the Apes Caesar. Ah, uh, I gotcha. So similar, similar reasons and, and similar concerns. Yeah. Yeah, getting old games to work that weren't made for these resolutions and frame rates is uh, sometimes an adventure. For sure. What? No! Uh, was that? I thought I'd finally stopped seeing them. Actually, let's see if I can... A little higher. Nope, I can't get it any higher on my screen. That's fine. Why? Why does looking at him make me... I can't, I can't stop shaking. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. The soundtrack to this game is absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Massive anime vibes. As I'm looking at it, my audio... Well, no. The, the audio should be fine. But if it's washing me out, just let me know. For the most part, I'm just going to let the intro play here. Much better than it actually displayed all of that. <laughs> so far, so good. To think the day would come when an Aresian would wash up on our shores. And a warrior, no less, judging by the steel sword he has with him. What could have possessed you to bring him here? Forgive me, Uncle. If I'd done nothing, this young man would have been with us no longer. I thought this would be the best place to treat his injuries. You know full well that the villagers' distress of his Aresian... These days is greater than it ever... Oh, uh, I'm speaking the wrong voice there. Is greater than it ever was. 
You are our priestess. Such careless conduct on your part will only make the situation worse. But, but I... Hmm. Oh, thank Alma. You're finally awake. Do you understand our language? At all gently nodded his head. Well, that simplifies matters then. I am Ord, chief of the Retta. What is your name, red-headed Eresian? Adol introduced himself and thanked Ord for helping him. You Eresians truly do have the strangest names. And if anything, you should save your thanks for this young lady. She was the one who found you washed ashore and tended to your injuries. My name is Olha. I've given you some basic first aid, but your wounds haven't yet closed completely. I'll need you to take it easy and get some much-needed rest for my sake, please? I'll have no such thing. He may be a powerless Eresian, but he is young, and he will recover quickly. As soon as you are able, I must ask that you leave here at once. Uncle, if you could just reconsider. Do not forget your position, Olha. You are the priestess, and a child of Alma. You will conduct yourself as such. Please don't mind him. He's really not so cold as he would have you believe. Though I'm sorry to say that, when it comes to Eresians, he's never been the most patient of men. Uh. Yeah. Lately, especially so. Anyway, rest as long as you need. My Windows taskbar is actually somewhat in the way of the very bottom of the game. <laughs> That's a little annoying. Oh. Um, hi. The girl pointed to Adol's equipment. I don't think it'll be a problem. Although I could just hide my taskbar. That would be an easy solution. You know what? Let's just do that really fast. Oh. Let's get that out of there. Okay. And yeah, the, the sound cut out just for a second here. Bear with me while I taskbar behaviors. Automatically hide the taskbar. Yes, please, and thank you. There we go. Much better. Ha ha ha. Now I see everything. Yeah, that, that was a good decision because now I can actually see my health bar. <laughs> Oh god, PS2 graphics, yep. This is a PS2 game. Um, so let's just check. I mean, none of those buttons really do anything. Okay, that jumps. Do I need to set the button? Hmm. That's gonna do a Steam thing, so I don't want to do that. Hmm. Maybe it's just not letting me do the... Maybe just not letting me... Maybe there is no... No, there's a menu. There's a menu. No, oh, anyway. All right, let's... Let's figure this shit out. <laughs> Man, this takes me back. All right, so we start in this room. This is Ord's room. Yep. No, this is not Ord's room. Right. Olha silently offered her prayers to the altar, her eyes firmly closed. Adol called out to her, but she didn't respond. Hmm? Eek! <laughs> um, pardon me. I always end up getting lost in my own little world once I start praying. It's nice to see you pull up, uh, you up and about, by the way. There's a lot more color in your cheeks compared to before. You've been asleep for three whole days, you know. Although your wounds have healed quickly enough, you still weren't coming along as much as I would have liked. I was starting to worry, but I feel much better now. It's clear that you've made a full recovery. Well, where are my manners? If I may, let me introduce myself again. I am the priestess of the Reda tribe, Olha. Um, I believe you said your name was Adol? Would you mind telling me how you washed up on this island? Okay, wow. They are way summarizing everything that had happened up until this point. But yeah, Adol explained that while riding a pirate ship, he had fallen overboard when they were attacked by the Roman fleet near the Great Vortex. They are missing a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm, a, I'm actually a little surprised that 
they're not going to cover a lot of that, but hopefully they do that. Pirate? Ramun? I'm afraid the details are a bit lost on me, but your story appears to match that of the other Aresians here. You must have plenty of questions yourself. If I can, I'd be happy to answer them. So what would you like to know? Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's ask about her ears and tail, and then I'll kind of some I'll fill you guys in on what is actually going on here. Aha, those. They must be an unusual sight for you. Everyone who comes from the outside, we call them Aresians, is surprised when they first see them. With such short ears and no tail to speak of, however, I must confess to us, you're the unusual ones. <laughs> I suppose it's all a matter of perspective, but our thinking's not so different, yours and mine. So let's ask about the Reda tribe. We Reda are a tribe that has resided on the Canaan Islands since ancient times. We live under the protection of the goddess Alma, and she bestows us with blessings from the forest and sea. From my experience, Aresians don't typically think of nature the same way we do, so it may sound a little strange. About Aresians, there are many people on these islands who come from outside the Great Vortex, much like you did. We call these people Aresians. These days, the Aresians have settled on Canaan Island to the northeast, in a village made of stone. Although if you were going looking for it yourself, I'm sorry to say it isn't possible to travel there at the moment. The Canaan Islands is an archipelago surrounded by the very same great vortex you found yourself in. We live on the first of these islands, Patera Island, which is rife with foliage. The second one, where the Aresians live, Canaan Island, is covered by vast plains and mountains. Finally, there is Zemeth Island, a place of ruins in the center of the Inland Sea. That's the Canaan Islands in a nutshell. Not the girl who ran away. Oh, you've met her. Her name is Isha. She's my younger sister. As to why she's been avoiding you, well... She's always been a little shy around Aresians. I hope you won't take it to heart. Isha may be quieter than most, but she's a very sweet and thoughtful young lady. Do try to get along with her, will you? That would be Ord. He's the chief of the Reda, as well as my uncle. He's a warrior and hunter, as well as a wise, wise man who is well versed in the legends relative to these islands. By the way, um, Adol, please try not to let what he said bother you too much. We have a long history, shall we say, with the Aresians, so he tends to be rather obstinate towards them. But I'd like to think that he'll change his mind about you once you open yourself up to him. Alright, so we're done here. I have to attend to my duties as a priestess, so I'll be here for a while longer. At all, please don't hesitate to ask if there's anything else you'd like to know. Okay, so I think we'll go talk to Ord, and then any other pieces we can kind of fill in here. All right, it doesn't look like there is going to be any of that. So, okay. At all and how he washed up here. So the PS2 version does have some bad CGI, but it fills in the gap of how we arrived here. So we're... We were just having lunch with Dogie, and this pirate captain shows up, asks us if we want to go on an adventure. And there's this cloaked girl with him, uh, who apparently pointed us out to him. And so uh, at that point, a bunch of Roman soldiers barge in. They try to arrest us. And at that point, we're like, all right, fine. We got to get the hell out of here. So we run with this dude that we just met. He's got a ship. So we board his ship where we, and we escape the Romans. Uh, and at that point, we find out that the girl was actually Tara, part of the uh, Iber gang from East 5. They probably didn't include that because, again, East 5 didn't come out practically anywhere. <laughs> so they may have just figured that would be confusing for people uh, to have Tara around introducing us from Xandria and all that. Now, uh, the pirate captain, and of course, I'm completely forgetting his name off the top of my head, but it's Tara's dad. And he intended to go check out this thing called the Great Vortex. Dogi freaks out. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? Anyway, the Ramun fleet shows up. They attack us. Cannons, you know, wreck the ship and all that. Adol grabs Terra before she's about to fall off the ship. Picks her up and uh, catches her, basically. Gets her on the ship. Uh, but then another cannonball kind of explodes. And then he's knocked off. And at that point, then we wake up and we're on this island. So that's essentially... The very, very abridged version of how Adol kind of ended up here on the Canaan Islands. Let's talk to this dude. Silva, hmm, you're up, I see. I'm Silva, a Reddin warrior. I might have been the one who carried you here, but only because Ola asked me to. 
But make no mistake, I sure as hell wouldn't have helped the Norizian otherwise. So obviously we are not popular here. Shocker. Come on. Thank you. Oh shit. Yeek! I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. Ola has told me about you. Okay. How are you feeling? Better? Let's see what's in here. Talk to this dude. Ah, this lady rather. You're the one, aren't you not? The Eurizian Olha wasted her energy looking after. I just don't understand what goes on in that mind of hers sometimes. A Redden priestess shouldn't stoop to associating with you filthy Eurizians. I will most certainly need to have a word with Ord about this. And Rakshi. Oh, you're the Eurizian Olha brought, brought here. Your hair's such a vibrant shade of red. You look pretty handsome. And perhaps a little gullible, too. <laughs> so let's cruise down here. You. Oh, so you're the Eurizian I've been hearing so much about. We've had our fair share of troubles here lately, so everyone's feeling a little on edge. So there are two East 4 games. There's only one East 5. There was only the East 5 that came out for the Super Famicom. Don't you go doing anything to make things worse, young man. Understand? Let's talk to this person. Hi, cat. <laughs> Are you having fun, cat? Hi, baby girl. What you doing? Hello. Kitty kitty. Give me one second. Just chat with the cat here. Yeah, you rubbing up against that? Yeah, I knew you would like that. <laughs> I purposefully gave you that because I knew you'd like it. No, 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 no. You can't go back there. No, no, no. I don't feel that. Right. No, you can't go back there. That's kind of why I blocked all that. Do I need to get another panel and totally block that? I probably do. Yeah. So are you gonna... Are you serious right now, cat? Kitty, you can't go after <laughs> I am so sorry. That ad was perfectly timed, though, while I'm, like, fighting with my cat here. No, you can't go back there. Don't bite my foot. Get out of that. You can't go back there. Okay, give me two seconds. <laughs> give me two seconds here. Let me... Let me further cat... You're gonna you're gonna sit there. Okay. I was about to I was about to further cat proof my desk here. Uh, I put the case of my computer in front of the power strip. Uh, oh goodness gracious! You're gonna sit here now. Ugh. Hi cat. I know. I love my cat. <laughs> you're such a brat. I love you. I know. All right. So yes, to answer your question, Deep Fry, uh, in totality here. Um, yeah, there's only one East 5, uh, which we did play. Uh, I don't know if you caught that or not. Um, I did put it up on YouTube, uh, but East 5 was better than I thought it would be. Um, it was, it was okay. It wasn't, it certainly wasn't bad enough to kill an entire series for a while. So anyway, hot talks are here. Hey, hey you drunk too? Heard of people getting a red fudge when they're getting washed, but never red hair. You crazy reasons. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> I know, I love you too. Hi. Hi. You want a pet? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna bite my hand? Yeah, you gonna bite my hand? All right, I know. Love you too. Okay. Yeah, you gonna chomp down on my hand? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nippy, nippy. I know. I know you're there. Oh, who are you? Oh, an Eresian. Might you be one of the ones, uh, be the one that's been the talk of the village then? Though I'm afraid I must warn you, there are many Reddins who don't think too kindly of your people. That's no fault of yours, of course. Our history with the Reasians of these islands extends far beyond today. So while some here may speak ill of you, try not to take it to heart, all right? We're just kind of checking out the Reda tribe here, trying to meet everybody. Noir, who are you? You've got tiny ears, no tail. Are you Kevin's friend? That's interesting. We'll have to check. We'll have to find who Kevin is. I vaguely, I think I vaguely remember who Kevin is. Uh, are you the Eurasian that Olha was talking about? Hmm. You know what? Now that oh goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give me two seconds, chat. Two seconds.
behind me while I cat proof my uh, desk here. <laughs> my my pods and screen. Back there. Oop, turn off that light. I, I know. at some point I should really do a review of uh, East 5, you know, when I'm not getting assaulted by my cat or completely distracted by her. Wow, and while I'm looking at uh, my new light behind me, that's a little bright. Let's, uh, let's dial that down a little bit. Let's dial that down. That looks a little better. Yeah. Wow. I actually had to dial the brightness on that way down. <laughs> there we go. But that that's that's probably fine for now. Yeah, I got a new light uh bar back there. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to play. Alright. Uh, I'm sorry, where was I before Cat introduced Chaos again? Which is what she does. <laughs> oh, were you the Eurasian that Olha was talking about? My, my, your lucky Chief Ord allowed you to stay here. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Okay, I don't see Ord, right? Am I crazy about that? Did I miss Ord? You're an Eurasian. Ah, yeah, here's Winuka. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? And Manan? Hmm, what brings an Eresian here? I suppose the fact that you wander the village so freely means you have Ord's consent. Let's head back over here. And then we'll uh, get used to things here. I think there's one person over here. Yep. Ah, right, here's Kevin. Hello, judging by your appearance, you're from Europe, I assume. Washed up on the shores of Katara Island, did you? I'm amazed that the Reddins here even paid you a second glance. The name's Kevin. I was washed up along these islands a while back. Same as you. Hmm? What am I doing here? Oh, the usual. I came from the neighboring Kanan Island for work. I'm a man of business, you see. Speaking of business, is there anything you need? Let me know, and I'll be happy to provide. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Uh... Ah, we found our shop. Uh, what do you have? Chico Nut. Um... Oh, he's got armor. But I don't think we can afford that. Where's our money? We have zero gold, so yeah, we're not we're not buying armor or any of this stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. So there's that. Remember? Oh, I actually don't really remember the controls of this game. So hopefully, it comes back to me here. Yep, and Isha's gonna run away from us again because that's what she does. <laughs> Now outside here, there should be a monument and we should be able to save. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Okay. It is nice to save. All right. So that works. I don't remember what these buttons do. I don't know if these buttons do anything. Okay. Well, let's, let's go this way. If I remember correctly, this way is a death trap. But I just want to see. <laughs> Alright. Kill that. Oh, never 
mind. That wasn't so bad. But we... I do remember the direction we want to go is not this. And different attacks have different... Ah, cool. We gained a level already. And now we have 16 gold. Alright, I'm remembering some of this. Oops. Dead. Fucked up. But as you can see, it plays a lot like Oath of Felgana. It's, you know, the primitive version of it. Oh, look at this. Sweet. We got nerve. That was nice. What are we doing, cat? Hi, cat. You gonna chew that? Yeah, sure. Chew that. It's fine. It's cardboard. It's crap. Sure. You can chew that. You have fun with that, cat. <laughs> if I knew better, I would have actually anchored that to that somehow, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Okay. Now that, if we jump over this... This is the death trap area. Oh yeah, everything in here could kill us in like one hit. So yeah, let's not go back there. <laughs> ah. Wow, we're about to level up again. Oops, sorry. Got distracted by cat. I know, that never happens. <laughs> All right. But yep, it looks like my new uh, sort of cat proofing has worked for the most part. But here we are on the moon's moon shore. Oh, we got we got more red out here. Ah, do, do you want something for me? Nope, you're good. Eek, your ears are so small. And you've got no tail. Are you an Eresian? That's right. I try to... Can I regain health just by standing still? I don't think so. I don't think... That's an option in this game. I don't think we gain health by standing still. Or at least we don't gain health by standing still here, for sure. Right. There is a treasure chest down in here somewhere, but I need an item to get it. Yep. Path leads farther underwater, but it's too deep to cross. Right. But later on, we'll be able to get to that. At least I remember that. But yeah, so far, I mean, the controls are very fluid. Just controlling at all is much more fun than East 5 was. Yeah, and Katera, the, the animals here are pretty much, even at early levels, these are not threatening to us. For the most part. I mean, if you're careless, anything could kill you in this game. Let's heal. Now going to these... Over right, you. Hey, buddy. Hey there. You up and around already? You were as weak as a newborn when we rescued you from the beach. I seriously thought you might have been done for. Oh, by the way, my name's Largo. I might not look that tough, but I'm a red and warrior through and through. Nice to meet you. All right. So let's uh, go check out this uh, other island, if we can, and see if we can meet these other Eresians that are here. <laughs> Nothing that way. But there is a treasure chest out there. Let's see if we can figure out how to get to it. Ooh, that was close. Thank you. So far, so good. Yeah, it is fun. It is, it is just fun. The game's controls are so much better than the previous entries. I mean, there's a reason why they based both of Fulgano on this, uh, on this engine. So yeah, they made, uh, they made this with the Arc engine, obviously. Uh, East Origins was made with this engine. 
Falcom made a bunch of games with this. There we go. Obtained honey. Let's take a look. What's going on over here? We're almost to the point where we can afford that leather. Uh, is this where I want to go? I think. Would like to upgrade my stuff. Oh, fucking bees. Hey, buddy. Ah, fucker. Come here. Nope. Let's go up here, but go with you. Ow. Ugh. Ah, fuck, I'm poisoned. Ugh, it's so lame. I hate being poisoned. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's head back. <laughs> before I die. Alright, good to know I'm remembering how this goes. Definitely gonna need to pick up antidotes. I don't think there's a way to run. Oops, save. You know, cat, that is really not the best place for you to lay, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> I guess it'll do. Hopefully this time I don't get myself poisoned. And so my plan at the moment is to just work my way up to the point where I feel I'm strong enough to handle the various dangerous shit of these islands. I'm not afraid of squirrels. Not too worried about these little assholes. What the fuck? Whoops. Okay, these things have got to be worth a lot of XP, right? You would think? Fuck. Alright, never mind. There we go. There we go. They were worth a lot of XP. It was just tedious as shit to go through them. But it is what it is. Oh. God, is there anything up here? I don't think so. Let's get the hell out of here. I think we made it here before. Man. Ah. Nice job at all. I'm nowhere near getting another level, so I guess we'll just see what's going on up here. Well, there used to be a bridge. <laughs> Let's find out what Ord has to say about it. Mm, I see you're back on your feet. You've recovered much more swiftly than I'd expected. Though you're still nothing more than a powerless Aresian, you must have undergone some manner of training. I don't thank the chief for allowing him to rest at the village. <laughs> Those fucking hops. <laughs> As once I've said before, you have no reason to thank me. Olha was the one who found and treated you. While others may have assisted, I kept my distance. As far as I'm concerned, you're an unwanted guest who should leave the moment you're able. Okay. Unfortunately, with the bridge in its current state... Yeah. <laughs> Jumping like 15 feet in the air. <laughs> Adol can jump, man. 
That island you see is called Canaan Island. It is roughly twice the size of this one, and its eastern shore is a stone town built by the Eresians. You'll be able to meet more of your tailless brethren there, but for now, you remain stranded here. As you can see, the bridge is currently impossible to cross. This did not occur naturally. The rope shows clear signs of being burned. Hmm, what's more? During the confusion caused by the bridge's collapse, something very important to us vanished from the village. Shocker. This was nearly a month ago. Naturally, we Retta have no reason to do such a thing, which leaves only the Eresians as potential culprits. I doubt that you have any connection to this, considering that you just washed ashore a mere three days ago. But surely even you can understand why your presence in the village makes the villagers wary. Can you not? Ah, uh, and Kuval. Ah, you must be at all. I've heard much about you from the chief. My name is Kuval. I'm a warrior, and hunter, and model, apparently. Washing up the way you did must have been a terrible ordeal. And while it pains me to say this, you have my sympathy. The unfortunate truth for you is that those who end up here are stranded on the Kanan Islands forever. I know it's not ideal, but it's best that you face it now and begin adjusting to your new life here. Do take some comfort in the fact that you're not alone. You should meet some of the many others in the same predicament. Though even that may prove troubling. We've some issues between our races which have resulted in bad blood, you see. Alright, so I have 151 gold. Let's go back to the village. Let's buy that armor. It's also heal from the stupid... Yeah. Look you. Look here, you little shit. <laughs> But still, that was worth another couple of extra gold. I don't think there's a way to run in this game. But maybe an item lets us. What was that? Did we pick up an item that let us heal a little bit? Or maybe not. I don't remember if that is um, a mechanic in this game or not. Now I do play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Oh, uh, now do I play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood or Kingdom Hearts 2, both halfway through the game? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Both are, I mean, granted I've not played Kingdom Hearts, but you know, I've heard enough. Um, I mean, I've always been a fan of RPGs, so for that reason alone, I think I'd say Kingdom Hearts, personally. Hard leather. Let's do it. All right. Now, do I... Do I just have it? Do I have to equip it? I feel like I need to equip it. But maybe not? A button that does anything. All right, let me save and then I'll experiment with some of the buttons. Kingdom Hearts it is. Let's save. All right. Yep, I'm gonna have to use my keyboard for that. All right, no problem. Let's go to my shield. Okay, armor. All right, now we've got that except. Okay, that's how this works. Okay, inventory. Examine or use an item. All right, well, we don't want to do that, but I can use these if I need to. That's good to know. No, Cleo, you can't go back there. Stop that. I know, for whatever reason, you are so fascinated with those cables. You have a toy over here. No, you don't want the toy. I don't know how to make that less enticing for you. Honey, I 
I love you. Cleo, hold on a second, folks. Good girl? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry about that. Had to pet a cat. <laughs> had to pet a cat. Thank I had to pet a cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you know, is it just me or am I way more exposed than I remember? You know what? I may have my light because I unplugged everything, so now my light may be too bright, but I don't think so. Well, I'll worry about it later. Hello, cat. Hello. I think I am too bright. Too bright. Do I still have that on my phone, or was that my old phone? Leo, stop that. Love you, but leave that alone. A Fitbit on here. Ahem. Stop it. Leo, seriously. You gotta leave that alone, honey. Um, you know what? It's probably on my computer. Oh my goodness. Leo. other toys you literally have like a house full of toys seriously can't have that i love you okay so now we can load and here are our options all right there's uh you know what let's dial that down just a bit yeah actually that one might be okay Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, let's... Okay. That should be good. There we go. Alright. There we go. Yeah, now we can hear the sound effects a little bit more. The sound effects were definitely getting washed out. Okay, I did save it, right? Yep, perfect. And I did equip... I did equip that armor, right? I did. Cool. Okay, so now we'll take less damage. Head back this way. Brrr. Yeah, I know. Purr, purr, purr. Purr. And now we try to get to Canaan Island. So we can't go by bridge, but there's another way that we might be able to uh, make work. Ah. Nice job, Seraph. <laughs> Bastard. I'm getting the hang of this game again. Whoops. Okay, I think it's... Was it this way? No, there's another way. Right? Right. This is the way we normally... Like, once we get the bridge fixed, this is the way up. So there's another way we need to find. And we did save, so that's good. We got something. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot the, uh, the Emil. We need Emil in this game. I forgot that. 
That's what we got last time. I picked up some emil. Right, so we want to go down. Vaguely remember what we're supposed to do here. The game is pretty for a PS2 era game. Like it really, it really is nice. I think this was the treasure chest, right? Yep. This was the treasure chest. Ahem. <clears throat> I do not... She's just fascinated with the cables lately. But fortunately, I can I could solve that problem. At least now, most of the cables she can't get to. Am I? I'm going the right way, right? I think. She's playing with that. Okay. <laughs> Fountain of prayer. Ah. Uh, Okay, yeah, let's save. Perfect. Okay. Yep. All right, boss time. Let's see if I remember this. There you are, Adol. I hadn't expected you would wander this far into the forest, but I wanted to make sure. I didn't see you in the village, so I thought you might be lost. It looks like I did all that worrying for nothing. <laughs> This area is called the Fountain of Prayer. It's a holy place to us, Retta. Legends state that the water here is imbued with the breath of Alma, so we use it for both rituals and healing. I used it to purify your wounds as well. Ah, right, I totally forgot about that. By the way, did you happen to see Isha on your way here? I couldn't find her anywhere in the village either. That'll explain that Isha ran away from him near the entrance to the village. She did. I hope you'll forgive her. She really is a sweet girl, but she's twice as shy. Even I must admit that she's been behaving stranger than usual, though. I wonder if she's keeping something from me. Oh, look at me going on and on. I shouldn't be boring you with this. I'd like to take a look at a few more places she might have gone before returning home. Try and take it easy, alright? Your wounds have only just healed, so I don't want you overexerting yourself. Oh, okay. I thought that there will be a boss we fight here pretty soon. But I guess we're gonna have to do something with Isha first. But I know we fight a boss here. save. Let's try and figure out what the hell we're doing. Seraph doesn't exactly remember what we're supposed to do. I guess I'm going back to the... Am I going back to the freaking... At this point, we've fought enough of these guys. Do I go back to the bridge? Do I go back to the village? Maybe I go back to the village. Let's go back to the village. One thing they, that... Um, <laughs> one thing I do remember playing this game, you will know... Well, anybody who plays this will definitely know the layout of the Canaan Islands by the end of the game. <laughs> I don't remember there being any fast travel, but maybe there is. I do like getting critical hits. Boom! Well, we killed them in two hits now. It's fun when you get to the point where you just kill them in one hit. Talk to you. Ola's looking for Isha. I saw Isha heading over towards the moonset shore. She's always been fond of that place. All right, as for advice. About dangerous places. I advise stay well away from the northwest part of the woods. Yeah, that is good advice. The wild beasts there are a fair bit tougher than anywhere else in the area. There's a barricade up, but I'm sure you could just jump over it if you wanted. Wouldn't recommend it though. All right. And then uh, spirit monuments, yep. Just scattered across the Canaan Islands. They're basically your save points and your healing. Uh, you can supposedly receive almost blessing just by touching one. Might be worth a try if you feel yourself feeling worn out. Okay, so that's how they explain it. All right, cool. So now back to the moon, uh, moonset shore. And by then, that boss should be ready to fight over there. 
And then once we fight that boss, we'll be able to get over to Kanan. But again, I love, absolutely love the soundtrack to this game. This is an East soundtrack, for sure. Now, let's see, where is Isha? Come on, Isha, where are you? There's Isha. Oh. Do you need something? Adol explained to Isha that Olha was looking for her. She is. Um, okay, I'll go find her then. All right, there's that. Back to the village? Maybe back to the village. I think this part of the game is just to get you used to controlling at all, fighting things that aren't too scary, but you're also not getting too far away from bases, you know, spirit monuments, places to heal. So let's talk to this dude. Isha came back from the shore a short while ago, but then she left for the fountain, saying she was looking for Olha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, yes. Um, you know what? Let's, let's go in order. Let's head back up here. Hey, Ghosty. It's EC listening. Yes. Yes, Ghosty. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> uh, Isha never wants to play with me anymore. She's always going away somewhere. So I think Olha is up here. I don't know what we're going to do with Ryug. He just took right off, saying he didn't want to help with the cleanup. I wonder where he ran off to. So if we go up here. Chief Ord and Kuval are way too soft, if you ask me. They know as well as anyone what you Eurasians did on Kanan Island. I'll never forgive your kind. Never. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so it's Olha back over here. Nope, Olha is not here. Maybe Olha is back over there. Oh, here's a word. You appear to be spending much of your time wandering around the island. Yes, I am. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Considering how much you stand out, I find it hard to believe that you would let me plotting something. But I would advise you not to try anything that may upset or alarm the villagers. Right. Yeah, Olha's not over here. Alright, so let's go back to the fountain and see if Olha and Isha are over, are over there. Boo boo boo. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Yeah, I really do love this game. This is this is a nostalgia trip, man. <laughs> I'm glad I got it up and running. I was really worried I was going to have uh, continued issues with it, but it looks like uh, figuring out the 4-3 resolution was all I really needed to do. I may have wanted to go down there. Let's see. Did I want to go down there? Oops. Damn it. Fine. Let's go over this way and see. I know I have to go down. Oh, you little shit. keep bringing more of these assholes. You. Ugh. Come here, you. Give me your sweet, sweet XP. You. Ooh. And Emil. We'll take Emil. Emil is how you upgrade weapons in this game. So it's really important to have. I think I went the wrong way somewhere. Yep, I went the wrong way somewhere. All right, so I need to go down. Cause that's where the fountain is. Yeah, it was the area I looked at before. Fucked up. No big deal. 
head back, do a little bit of backtracking. Not the end of the world. <laughs> They'd be so cute if they weren't also fucking dangerous. This way. Yeah, this is the way to the fountain. So we went to the fountain once before, but there wasn't anything there but Olha. Do do do. Yeah, you guys at this point, I'd rather keep my HP. Eh, it's going. Did some chill music thing, and now I'm taking a break. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I am doing well. I mean, as always, there's always, uh, schoolwork bullshit, but, um, doing all right. Now it gets interesting. <laughs> Great boss music. Oh no. Ah! It'll ask Isha to stand back. Now, let's see if I remember. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, let's not get hit by that. Let's see, can I? Nope, I can't. I can't heal. Whoops. I remember that being a problem. Oops. Gotcha. <laughs> I had two hit points. I had two fucking hit points. <laughs> but not bad. Not bad. Adol's sword was broken during the battle with the mighty beast. <laughs> um, hey, are you okay? Adol nodded to let her know that he had no major injuries. Yeah, I was two hit points away from dying, but you know, I'm cool. <laughs> they never actually landed that, that killing blow. That's good. Um, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you were a bad person. Um, I... Man, that's bullshit. No! <laughs> ah. Well, whatever that was, that was awesome. <laughs> Sis? Thank goodness we made it in time. I'd gathered all of the warriors and hurried here when I'd heard that abominable roar. But I can't believe the first calamity hunt in a decade and it's ended so anticlimactically. I love that calamity hunt. Holy shit. <laughs> Isha told me what you did for her. Had you not arrived when you did, I, I can't imagine what may have come to pass. I'm so very grateful to you for saving her at all. We call the monster that you fought a wandering calamity. <laughs> it's a name for it. Holy shit. Numerous such monsters have appeared near here since ancient times leaving nothing but destruction in their wake. It's been some time since the last sighting, ten years ago, when three appeared at once. Holy fuck. We were able to defeat them, but our victory is not without the loss of many fine redded warriors, and I'm guessing his brother uh, was one of them. I don't actually remember that, that clearly, but that's going to be my guess. Yep. Young Aresian. No. At all, Kristen. I am deeply impressed by your actions. Ordinarily, weapons of steel are completely ineffective against a wandering calamity. Even if they were able to weaken one, defeating it would be physically impossible. The only way to pierce its thick shell is to use a special form of weapon. Ward showed Adol his spear. Its point appear appeared to be made from a green, translucent material. This was forged with an ore we call emel, which can be found throughout the Canaan Islands. Its strength and resilience surpasses that of any metal brought here by the Aresians. 
Olha was able to defeat that monster because the tip of the arrow she fired was made of the same material. That explains it. Had Adol not weakened at first, however, I wouldn't be able to do, to do so. I've never heard of someone who was able to overpower such a beast without a weapon made of emel. You must be very strong, Adol. Adol, I have something I wish to discuss with you. Come with me to my room. Uncle? You can't still be... I'll be speaking to him as chief of the village. You have no reason to be concerned. Come with me. <laughs> Rutro. I wonder what's going through his mind right now. Well, regardless of what it may be, I don't think you have anything to worry about. After all, you're the man who risked his life to save Isha. How could he possibly think lesser of you now? Thank you for coming. I have much I wish to discuss with you, but first, I must give you my thanks. Thank you for saving Isha's life. She and Olha were my younger brother's children. They are both deeply important to me. Regrettably, he lost his life defending this village against the wandering calamities. It's been ten years since then. <laughs> yep, we figured that part out. If not for you, one of his daughters may have met that same terrible fate. Truly, I cannot thank you enough. I realize it may not be easy to do so, but I ask that you forgive my previous behavior towards you. Chief Ward bowed deeply to Adol. <laughs> to think, you were only the second Eresian who I've taken an interest in. I'm guessing the other is Kevin, since he's already in the village. The majority care only for themselves, disrespecting the spirits and seeking to upset the peace of this land. Mm, excuse me, I didn't call here to pose upon you my views. I assume that you remember the stone wall on the Fountain of Prayer's northern side. That was where the monster that you fought emerged from. And as luck would have it, an underground path is hidden on the other side. It was built in ancient times, and extends well below the ocean depths, connecting us to Canaan Island. Now my question to you is this. Do you intend to use that path to travel to Canaan Island? Hell yeah, I do. I suspected that you would. As I recall, however, your sword was broken during the battle with the Wandering Calamity, was it not? In that case, I ask that you take this. Hell yeah, magic sword time! And now we have Levart. That is a sword crafted from Emil, and it will grant you the power of the spirits. Furthermore, tempering it will allow you to use a number of skills and magic. I believe a swordsman as skilled as yourself will have no trouble learning to use it to its full potential. I hesitate to ask for anything in turn, but... If you are able to reach Canaan Island, would you consider searching for our mirror? We call it the Mirror of Zem. It is a white mirror which has been passed down from priestess to priestess. It was stolen from the altar in our home a month ago, on the same day the suspension bridge was felled. I think it wrong to blame the Eresians prematurely, but we've already searched this island from one end to the other. Thus, I do believe the chances of it being on Canaan Island are high. I won't ask that you go out of your way to find it, but would you keep that thought at the back of your mind during your travels? Badass. And now we have Levart. Let's see Ola one harm. She should be in here. I think she hangs out in here. Yep. She does. I recognize that sword of yours. I see. So that's what he wanted to discuss. You intend on leaving us then? Adol nodded and explained he was planning to travel to Canaan Island via an underground passage. Ah, I know the one. It was originally built for followers of Alma. They would use it for their pilgrimage to her final resting place, Zemeth Island. I do vaguely recall there being an entrance to Canaan Island somewhere along it, so you should be able to get there. I'm worried, though. You've only just defeated that monster. Surely you should rest here a while longer. Is there really no changing your mind? Then at least allow me to give you this. Ah! Glad I talked to her then. I totally forgot she gave us this. Take care, Adol. May the blessings of Alma always be with you. Well, we're... Yes, we are using that item, because our HP just went up by five. Hell yes. <laughs> we like hit points. Now, I've got five Emil, but I don't think I can upgrade the sword here. Hey there, Adol. I heard you beat the Wandering Calamity before the Chief and my brother could even get to it. Is that true? If it is, you're really something. <laughs> All right, we're changing minds here. Our grandmother, she... She said to take care of anything you have that needs mending. I thought I was dreaming for a second. She's never said anything like that about an Eresian before. Never. So, I guess you don't have... Do you need something, young man? Okay. 
so they know they saved Isha. But I don't remember if there's another store here or not. I think you're just... I heard you were the one who fought the Wandering Calamity to protect the little Isha. I would have known there was a decent boy like you among the Eresians. I admit I had you pegged all wrong. Man, it didn't take long to change all these people's mind, did it? No, he's not here either. Why does he always have to be such a pain? <laughs> My sister's always telling me that I need to help with this and that. She's worse than her mom. I can't take it anymore. Nice job, kid. Uh, normally, my wife, Wanuka, would help me with my work as a craftsman, but she's not the most cut out for it, to say the least. At the moment, I believe she's out helping Sola instead. It is said that Alma, goddess of the spirits, rests on Zemathina in the north of here. However, the currents surrounding the island are fierce, and none of us have been able to reach there. If we could read Zemeth Island as a holy place to us, Retta. And we are forbidden from trading along its sacred ground. Alright, so Zemeth Island is important. Where'd Mommy go? Yeah, poor Wanuka. <laughs> right, do you have anything new? I don't think you do. Nope. Alright. Let's get out of here. Wanuka, come over to help us out. I wish I could learn how to cook. Well, I guess that's everything here. So much for upgrading my shit now. <sighs> Looks like Chief Ords recognized you as a true warrior in the end, huh? I swear, I've never met an Eresian quite like you. Let's do this. Um. <laughs> Are you leaving? Adol nodded and explained that he was planning to leave via the underground passage. Will you take this then? Isha presented at all with a simple bracelet. I've carved it myself. I'm sorry for being scared of you. And I'm... Thank you for saving me. Thank you, at all. I hope you'll come by again. Olha and I already can't wait for your next visit. <laughs> see. Ah, strength and defense too. That works. Ah, right. So if I equip an item, I could use it. Right. Okay. That allows me to use it during boss battles. Okay. That's how that works. I'd forgotten. But yeah, this weapon is way better. Once I upgrade it, I think it does some really badass shit. Sit down here's the way we want to go. Ah, yes. And those do heal me. Cool. Right? That's not an item I pick up. Oh, no, it's an item I pick up. Cures poison. Ah, yeah, that's awesome. All right, good to know. Sweet, I'm going to need those. Because I'm going to get poisoned. A lot. Nope, you're not getting me. Not today. Not today, little flying rodent. Does look cool. Hey, Silva. Hmm. You'll be crossing to Canaan Island, I take it. Well, you'll see when you get there. You'll see what kind of lifestyle those bastards are living. Still, you yourself are an Eresian. I can't help but wonder what you'll think of their lives compared to ours. According to the chief, the passage ahead of us leads all the way to Canaan Island. I've also been told that it's crawling with foul monsters. I'd initially thought that we might be able to use it as a replacement for the bridge, but in its current state... Yeah, it's dangerous as shit. You guys can't use it. But I will. Alright. So if I drop down there... If I drop down there, there are enemies, and I remember it sucking. Oh, shit. Damn it.
<laughs> yeah, these things are annoying. I remember them being annoying. Right. And when they extend, that's when they suck a lot. Ah, shit. Which way am I supposed to go? I don't remember. I think I'm supposed to... I think the way out is up. But I can't go this way. Ah, right. Ah, suddenly Adol's sword resonated with the door. Right, and this opens it. Okay, this is the way out. Yep. Alright, this is something cool here. I don't remember what that shit is, though. Alright, uh... Well, this is gonna suck, but alright, let's do it. Huh. Well, this looks... bad. Yep, here we are. Hmm. Looks like I need the right key to open it. Ah, uh, and the blue one, we had the blue sword, so at some point we're gonna find a red sword. Guess I'll just have to find some other way. Well, well, what have we got here? <laughs> Never thought I'd run into someone else in a place like this. Who are you, anyway? You sure don't look like you came from the town. At all introduced himself and explained how he recently washed up on these islands. At all? At all, Kristen? <laughs> you really never know what fate's gonna throw your way. Fancy meeting the legendary Adol the Red here at a time like this. I've heard all kinds of rumors about you. Mostly ones about you being a real goody two-shoes who can't keep his nose out of other people's business. Guilty as charged. I don't think I could let a chance like this slip by me even if I wanted to. How about it? Up to seeing how much of a fight you can muster against my halberd? Prove to me that Blue Emma's sword of yours isn't just for show. If he beats us, we don't die, but I would like the XP to beating him, but let's see how uh, Rusty Seraph is. Yeah, I remember this beat. I remember this sucking a lot. Yeah, he's going to kill me pretty good. Yep, that was it. <laughs> that didn't last long. <laughs> Oh, well. Ha! Huh, that all you got? Guess those rumors blew you out of proportion. The name's Geis. I'm an adventurer like you, but I dabble a bit of mercenary work on the side when I feel like it. But clearly, Geis can fight. Now, on the other hand, on the other side of these ruins is a place called Canaan Island. There's a town there where all the people who've washed up from Europe live. Why don't you just sit tight and mind your own affairs for once in your life? It's for your own good. Pleasant fellow, isn't he? Yeah, that sucked, but oh well. I have beaten him on previous playthroughs, but yeah, it was just... Oh, God. Fuck. Hate these things. Fucked up. Damn. When they don't have those legs extended, that's when you want to be going after them. Ah. But, when but when they are extended, boy, are they a pain in the ass. Damn. Come on, Seraph, you got this. There we go. Two. Ah. We'll take that. Yeah. Damn. Get my ass kicked here. But I do remember these things just being a complete and utter pain in the ass. Yeah. Come here, guys. 
Get a nice little cluster for me. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, let's use some of these. I've got enough of them. And these are the lower quality ones, so I'm not really that worried about it. Plus, I'm going to level up in a second. There it is. But it would have been pretty embarrassing to die before getting a chance to level up. <laughs> eh, a little bastard. All right. And now we've reached the coastal road. We may have already taken as much stone from this area as we're able. <laughs> oh God, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, and Zaxxon. Looks like we're going to need to start taking it from the underground then. Not looking forward to having to take care of all the insects down there first. From my experience, those should pose no trouble. My concern lies more in angering the Kataran people. Oh, come on. Who cares what those tailed freaks think? They got nothing to do with us. All we need to think about is making our own lives safer and more comfortable. That's Master Balslam's way, and I'm with him every step of it. I suppose you're right. Oh? <laughs> Here we are. What, what the? How'd you end up in there? You sure don't look familiar. Are you the mercenary who washed up here a while back? No, he's not. He seems to be a new arrival. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Lloyd, of the Baslam Trading Company. This man is our associate, Daxon. Based on your appearance, you've come from Europe as well. Would you mind if I asked you how you came to be in the Underground Passage? Adol introduced himself and explained everything that had happened since his arrival on Katara Island. I see. So you were rescued by the Reda then? And you say the Underground Passage extends across the seafloor all the way to Katara Island? The most interesting find. We should inform Master Baslam at once. You must be one gutsy bastard to make your way through a dangerous place like that. Yep, that's us. How about it? You fancy working under Master Baslam? Life is damn good if you do. You'll forget how you washed up here in no time. Now, now, Zaxxon, we mustn't press him. I'll be returning to Master Baslam as we agreed. Can I leave the bridge's surveillance to you? Yeah, yeah, leave it to me. All right, be seeing you, newcomer. Maybe we'll get a chance to have a drink together sometime. So maybe we'll go back down there and see what else was down in the other direction that I went to. I think that direction is if you had fallen into the pit, there's a way up from there. But I don't remember if there's a treasure chest down there or not. So now I'm curious to see. If you make a detour east from here, you'll find yourself in Port Remorge, the town which we call our home. I'll refer you to our uh, my employer, Master Baslam. <laughs> yeah, right? So I insist that you come visit his mansion once you're able. Yax is both representative and leader of our town, so it might be wise to solicit an audience with him. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I love Nani. Nani? <laughs> yeah, we made it to Kanan. Once we get a map, we'll be able to actually kind of see things. But, uh, yeah, here's, here's where the bridge should be. Yep, this is one busted bridge, all right. Oh. <laughs> Not sure it's even possible to repair this from our side alone. <laughs> yeah, Port Remorge is just right over here. Ugh. I'll go back into that area and look for a treasure chest later. I just hope I didn't miss anything all that important. And here's Port Remorge. Let's take a look. Oh, we got a bard. August. Are you a new member of our dear community? My name is August. As you can see, I am a wandering minstrel. Oh my, that sword you have is an unusual one. 
a red-haired swordsman carrying an emulous blade. Hmm. I can feel the song coming on already. <laughs> Interesting sword you've got there. <laughs> oh, I get it. Chief Ward's taken quite a liking to you. Hmm, me? I'm a Retta. Isn't it obvious? If we're being honest, though, the tribe isn't all that fond of me. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you'd be here. Here's Tise. Welcome. Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new here? You must have been through a lot. Make yourself comfortable here, okay? Yep, here's Carmine. My ship, my cargo. My pride is a <clears throat> Roman merchant. And now I'm stranded here with no way to get off these islands. My life's over. Ah, you must be new here. Welcome to my humble establishment. You must have been through some rough times recently to have ended up here. Hmm? A white mirror? No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've never heard of any such thing. If it concerns the Retta, it may be worth asking the professor. He lives in the wooden house on the southern end of town. All right, so we have our first lead. And that professor is a very interesting character. So we've checked out the inn. Seraph has refreshed his memory about that. Ah, this must be Blasm's place. Yep. Ah, your name was Adol, was it not? Wasting no time in coming to see Master Baslam, I see. He's been expecting you. Welcome to the Baslam Trading Company. I hope that you enjoy your visit. Yeah, let's go check out Baslam here. My, what magnificent red hair. So you must be the newcomer that Lloyd mentioned. The name's Baslam. I'm a merchant from Altago. I was stranded here about 10 years ago or so. I've been working on expanding the town ever since. One might even say I'm the most important man in Remorge. And humble too, if you ask him. <laughs> Surprised? Well, now it's your turn. How did you get here, young man? Adol explained everything that had happened to him since he washed up on Quatera Island. Ah, oh, you ended up on Quatera, did you? I'll be blunt. I can't stand those Retta. Especially Chief Ward, the stubborn old mule. He grumbles about every little thing. Stop destroying the ruins. Stop cutting down all the trees. What's the problem with wanting to make our town bigger and more pleasant to live in? You want to make a better life. You have to put in the hard work and creativity necessary to get it. That's the way a merchant needs to live. No, if you ask me, that's the way everyone needs to live. All oh, right, I heard you came here though that insect infested underground passage. Not just anyone can manage that. So how about it? You interested in finding a way to Zemeth Island for me? Zemeth Island's a small island on the western side of Canaan Island. It's a holy place to the Retta, supposedly covered from end to end in ruins. As of now, the current's so fast that no one's been able to land there. But I have a hunch that the key to solving the mystery of the Great Vortex lies somewhere on that island. I made the same offer to that mercenary called Geis, but he turned me right down without a second thought. Youngsters these days, I tell you. Wouldn't know a great good deal if it smacked them right in the face. So yeah, if it's not obvious, the Canaan Islands are isolated from the rest of the world by a, uh, essentially a vortex of, uh, of, uh, completely catastrophic, uh, air. Hey, Nudermass! Long time no see, my friend. How are you? We're playing E6. I managed to get it up and running. Oh, <laughs> well, you must be the one Lloyd was telling me about. My name's Maple. I'm a maid who works here at the mansion. I assume you were shipwrecked, too. It's not hard to figure out. Everyone in town came here the same way. I'm sure you get along here just fine. Ah, excellent. Good to hear you're well. Yeah, I couldn't really chat all that well because uh, work was pretty crazy, unfortunately. <laughs> but it was nice to lurk for the most part uh, today. It's always nice to hang out. Uh, Vermintide too. That that was bonkers stuff, man. That was, All the hordes and things. That was crazy. That looked fun. Oh, you're new around here. You must have had it rough, poor kid. Everyone here came from outside the Great Vortex. Newcomers are always welcome. Take it easy until you settle in. I want to talk to the merchant. There we go. Thank you. Uh, what do you have to sell? Okay, well, I can't afford most of this, so... Nope. Guess we'll talk to you. What did I ever do to deserve running a street stall in this heat? My sister decided she wanted to run the shop next to her on her own, so she shooed me out. Alright, well, let's go take a look at Rose's shop. <laughs> hey, Rose. Oh, I haven't seen you here before. Are you the new arrival that Lloyd was talking about? My name's Rose. I'm part of the Baslam Trading Company. To tell you the truth, though, I'd prefer it if I weren't working under that filthy old man and his hideous mustache. Oh, and the kid running the street stall outside is my younger brother, Croy. Nice to meet you, new guy. Alright, what do you sell? 
Ah, you sell some good stuff, but I can't afford any of it just yet. But we will soon. All right. Yep, we're good. Right, so now if we need to buy stuff, Rose is the one to talk to. I talked to you already. What are you? Who are you? Ah, Anise, huh? Oh, you're new here? So you got washed up too, huh? Still, you should be glad you got away with your life after ending up in the vortex. That sounds like a raid. Hey! Freakbot! Greetings! Now is a good time to do some shout-outs here. <laughs> oh, and wait, uh, yeah, I switched I switched the focus so the music stopped. Uh, if you did get at any point, you'd be more than welcome to join me on it. Nice! I will take... You know, if I pick that up, I will definitely take you up on that. So before we do anything else, since you were here already, let's give a shout-out to Nunamass while we were talking about that. And greetings, Freakbot. Greetings, Raiders. How is everything? How is, uh, how is the rest of the stream? Oh, and I typed it wrong again. Damn it. Nice job, Seraph. <laughs> fail. Shout out, fail. Let's try that again. Oh, nice. Beat the game. Excellent. That's always nice. <laughs> oh, and that, that takes care of that. Thank you. Thank you, Freakbot, for taking care of uh, the shout out for Rob the Wonderful. He's also a fun streamer. Playing, uh, played some awesome games. It was short, uh, short little Metroidvania. Yeah, I, you mean you just started that, uh, so you beat it and uh, played it and beat it in one stream, huh? Nice, 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 excellent. While we're at it, go perfect. Shout out, Ghosty. Let's see who else am I, who else am I missing? I hope I'm getting everybody here. Uh, we got Rob, we got Ghosty, we got we got Neuter who just showed up. Uh, I think it's everybody who streams. So greetings. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, you weren't, didn't have to get 100% on that. I mean, beat it in one stream. That's that's pretty awesome. Ooh. I must have pet the cat, and now I'm itching my eye, and oh boy, does it itch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still getting used to uh, getting all my settings correct. So my, my one light is a little bright, so I may be a little overexposed at the moment. So my, my apologies on that. <laughs> uh, but so it, so it goes. So it goes. Actually, you know what? That might not be that. It might be my camera settings. It might be my camera settings. Let's go into my camera settings, actually. Let's, uh, let's. Oh, you know what? That's what it is. There we go. Now I look correct. That's the way it's supposed to look. Ah, there we are. There we are. Let's see. Let's go with, uh, there we go. That's probably better. Yeah, there we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. So, uh, can get the game from, oh, wow. That is crazy for the quality. That's awesome. Uh, Nice. All right. So yeah, white balance looks fine. I don't need to mess around with that. Yeah. Let's save. Okay. Let's uh, take care of that. All right. Cool. Okay. Now I look better. Now I'm not glowing on screen. <laughs> that was uh, that was a little bonkers. Uh, that being the case, I could probably turn up my turn up the light on that. Let's uh, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta do that. Go. Yeah, that's still a little on the bright side. Let's do... That looks... Mm. There we go. That looks fine. Perfect. Okay. I'm, I'm still tinkering things after getting everything rewired properly, so thank you for... Uh, so, <laughs> thank you for kind of accommodating me on that. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna take a look at it. If, that's, if it's that cheap, that might be worth doing. Uh, for sure. I just picked up a whole bunch of games, but uh, but again, for that price, like, how do you go wrong? Um, but anyway, welcome. I got E6 working. I figured out finally why the Steam version wasn't working. So the solution was to set the resolution to anything that has an aspect ratio of 4.3. Anything other than that aspect ratio and the cinematic scenes don't render correctly. I'll send you the link to where you could get it at that price. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. I do appreciate it. Oh man, my eye is burning. Oh boy. So let's see. Uh, the name's Anise. Let's let, 
but yeah, we'll, we'll just keep chatting while I continue resuming uh, play here. Uh, the name's Anise. I'm a fisherwoman. It's going to be a pain getting used to life here at first, but we're all in this together, yeah? So yeah, we got it, got it up and running. So we are playing the Steam version, not the PS2 emulated version, which is nice. Uh, let's see. We're, we just got to the town, and I'm trying to figure... Ah, uh, I think this is the Emil shop. Yep. This is where we can upgrade our weapons. Ah, would you look at that? I never thought the day would come when Chief Ord would entrust his blade to an Eregian. <laughs> so yeah, Leave is uh, awesome. My name is Leave. I'm a craftswoman who works with Emilus. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. If Chief Ord thinks that highly of you, then I suppose I can help you however I'm able. Using the facilities in this forge, I'll be able to temper your Emilus sword for you. Tempering it will allow me to draw out its latent abilities, so you could use them in combat. In return, however, you're going to need to find the emil necessary for tempering it yourself. Surely your male pride wouldn't let me do all the work now, hmm? Let's temper the sword. Yes! Upgrade! Yeah, that is a big fucking deal. So now our sword is, uh level two, and our strength instead of plus 20 is now plus 27. Sweet! And now we get Maelstrom, which is awesome. Okay, so now we need uh, 11 more Emilus to upgrade it next. Sweet. So we're good. Uh, we went in there already. What else is there here? So we know the professor. I think this is just another way in here. All right, so there's a professor on the south side of town which we were... Oop, Pickards! Hmm, I'm a member of the trading company too, you know. So why must one such as I be relegated to Pickard duty? What a travesty. Even criminal, I dare say. <laughs> yeah, there are always Pickards in every one of these games. We haven't met before, have we? Does that mean you came from the outside? So let's see. Uh, okay, so that... This is... All right, so that's the professor. I just want to see what this is real quick. And then we'll go say hi to that professor. Sophia. Ah, oh, you must be... Hmm, pardon me, I haven't the faintest idea who you are. Oh, you're a new arrival. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you then. And so for anybody who's played a previous game of East or watched me play, this is about to get real fun. Oh, you're back. What? To, that took you longer than expected. You may be a Retta. But you still got a ways to go before you become a man. Spending too long on those monster-infested plains is just asking for trouble. I... I can't believe my eyes. Am I dreaming? No, I would recognize that red hair of yours anywhere. I don't suppose you remember me, do you at all? I'm Raba. You saved me from Darm Tower six years ago. This is the dude that was in the corridor with the statues where you had to use the mask of eyes to, you know, go through the wall. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we've run into Rabba again. <laughs> I knew that would jog your memory. But how did you end up here of all places? Did that adventurous spirit of yours get the better of you and make you dive into the Great Vortex? Adol explained everything that had happened over the course of his journey to Rabba. So you fell off a pirate ship after getting attacked by the Roman fleet, did you? It's a miracle that you made it here alive. Still, I'm amazed at how quickly Chief Ward accepted you. <laughs> Looks like you haven't changed at all. It warms my old heart to hear it. But you must have plenty of questions. I know you, and that boundless curiosity of yours is not so easily sated. If there's anything I can answer for you, be sure to let me know. As you know, I'm a scholar who studies ancient civilizations. That was how I came to study the Kingdom of East on Asteria, too. After all the trouble in Hysteria came to an end, I set out in search of more ancient mysteries. And as I read through ancient records, I found myself drawn to tales of the Vortex of Canaan. Luckily for me, I found a noble with too much time on his hands interested in solving the Vortex's mysteries. I had the opportunity to join him on his ship setting out for the Vortex, but that was when our luck ran short. Just as we reached it, we'd lost control of the ship, we were drawn in, unable to break free. Through a strange twist of fate, I was the only one who survived. The ship itself was destroyed. That's why I've been staying here, studying the ruins in the area. So let's ask him a question. Oh, and we get to ask a bunch of questions. <laughs> All right, let's start about this mirror. 
The mirror, of course, is a uh, item that was stolen from the Retta tribe, and Chief Ord is curious about it. I see, so an ancient mirror disappeared from Cotera Island. I've been shown the mirror of Zem by the priestess on Cotera once before. It is a mirror of white emelis with a divine aura about it. Hmm. Well, I'm not one to refuse a request from Chief Ord. I'll see what I can find out. Perhaps Ur might have heard something about it, too. Let's ask about this great vortex. The vortex is found in the far west ocean, distorting currents and drawing in any ship making its way westward. It's a natural phenomenon far more dangerous than the storm wall that arose off the shore of Asteria. No one knows how the great vortex first appeared, or why has it existed since ancient times. But my gut tells me that the truth lies somewhere in the ruins of these islands. Let's ask about these ancient ruins. The Canaan Islands are a treasure trove of ancient ruins. The Mythos passed with path which you came through to get here is but one of them. The scholarly value of the murals in there, likely created by the Reddins, cannot be stressed enough. There are also ruins we've been unable to visit, such as Zemeth Island, or Windseeker Heights in northwest Quetera. Yeah, Windseeker Heights is where all those crazy strong monsters were that we knew better than to try to fight. These islands are truly like heaven to scholars like myself. Oh, and there are what appears to be ancient ruins on Canaan Island itself as well. North of the Canaan Plains is a mountain called Granavallis, and at its peak is a shrine built ages ago to enshrine a sword of some kind. Alas, climbing that mountain is far too arduous for my weary bones, so I can only rely on hearsay. Alright, so let's ask about this town. The town was built by those who, by some miracle, managed to survive being drawn into the vortex of Canaan. Originally, it was a simple makeshift town built from wreckage that had washed up. It's thanks to the ingenuity of an Altaginian merchant who goes by the name of Baslam that has become the sound town you see today. You said Dogi was left behind on that pirate ship. I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about him. I've always felt greatly indebted to him for helping me escape from Darm Tower. I do hope he's alright. Let's ask about Baslam. I hear he's once a merchant from Altago, along the northern shores of Africa. I'm sure you've noticed that most of the buildings here are made of stone. Have you ever wondered where it all came from? The answer's simple. From destroying ruins built by the Reddas' ancestors and repurposing the rubble. I'm sure you can imagine how unhappy the Red in Chief has been about that. One could say Baslam is most of the reason the people of this town in the Reda don't get along so well anymore. What about Chief Ord? Well, I first met him about two years ago. At that time, the Redden village was being ravaged by an endemic disease brought on a new arrival to the island. A number of the villagers caught it and fell ill. Chief Ord's son was one of them. Fortunately, I happened to know the cure for the disease, so I went to the village and treated it for them. I've been on good terms with the chief ever since. I can't say I ever pictured his son would want to become an apprentice of mine, though. Okay, so now we get to ask about Ur. Ur is Chief Ord's only son and currently my apprentice, so Ur was who he was expecting. He's ever the inquisitive one, fascinated by the world outside these islands. He's out at the moment, but I would be happy to introduce him to you when he returns. He's out gathering medicinal herbs in the northern plains, if I recall. Although he really should have been back by now, I hope he hasn't gotten wandering somewhere dangerous again. Of course he has. Well... Ooh. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, before you go, be sure to take this with you. There's our map of Canaan. This is a map of the Canaan Islands that I've spent the last three years creating. Its precise accuracy leaves something to be desired, but it should help you get your bearings straight at least. I hope it will be of use to you. So now we can use the island. Why not use the... Nope, I can't. There we go. Alright, so I have to go here to access the island. But at least now we have a pretty good idea. So we explored um, from the Redden Village to Moonset Shore, the Fountain of Prayer, and uh, you know now we've managed to get to the actual island of Canaan. But as you can see, the island of Canaan is pretty big. So at this point, once we start heading north, we can uh, start dealing with stuff. And that Limewater Cave is a fucking terrible dungeon, and I fucking hate it. Because of course, there's a goddamn cave slash mine in this freaking Schnurner. Alright, so let me see what I'm doing. I think we're tracking down Ur. I think that's our objective at the moment. I mean, there's also the Granavallis Mountain. There's a, there's a uh, silver mirror we need to get. I don't think there's anything else here to do. Wish I could help. Right, we already asked. Did already ask him about that. So 
Ur does seem to be the main objective at the moment. Let's save. Because we did just talk to a whole bunch of people, and I really don't feel like doing that again. I could go back in there and see if there's a treasure chest. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Looks like there's two of them at the moment. wonder what they're muttering about. Either way, fat chance we're getting fixed at this rate. I'll have to let Bastum, Master Baslam know and see what he thinks. Alright, so let's go back into the dungeon really fast. Let's just go down it just again to satisfy my own curiosity make sure I didn't miss anything. Fortunately, we can just run past this shit. I hate these little bastards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And again, I love the music in this game. It's amazing. The soundtrack is so good. Yeah, the, the music in East 5 wasn't particularly great. Like, it wasn't bad, but it was just, like, okay. This is what I think of. Uh, in an East for a, Oh, look at that. Motherfucker. Okay, well, just that. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Okay. Damn, I wish I'd just gone down there. All right. But still, it was worth checking out. Get the hell out of here now. At some point when we have a red sword, we can open that door. We're moving right along here, though. Ba -ba. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time. These guys just... They just take too long to fight and uh, deal with. Bastards. Alright, to the Kanan plane we go. Just get some bug spray, right? <laughs> like, just get some bug spray. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I, I would kill for some bug spray. Once we get some money, we can buy some better shit, too. I think uh, 600 gold is what we need for... Um, wait. What's this way? I forgot what's up here. I went to the... Uh, other area on autopilot. Oh, this is neat. Oh, that's really neat. Okay, yeah, we could see uh, Granavallis off in the distance. That was pretty awesome, actually. All right, cool. I'm glad we went up there. Sweet. That was actually really neat. See, so yeah, despite of all these years, I immediately kind of went over here on autopilot. Now we'll save. I thought there was a mission to do, but I could be mistaken. Sometimes it's always interesting finding side quests. Bastard. Good old field music. I don't think we gain hit points by just standing still in this game. Nope, we do not gain hit points by just... We don't regenerate health by standing still. <laughs> but that's okay. As long as I'm careful, we could always just go back and deal with uh, the, mo the spirit monuments to heal back up. Alright, I forgot we can go in the water here. Ah, fucker. Gotcha. Wow, they even reused a lot of the sound effects for uh, Ulta Fogana. Let's see, let's open this one. Is this the way we came in? 
I think this is the way we came in. This is the way we came in, isn't it? Yep, it is. It's the way we came in. Son of a bitch. But fine. Save since we got some XP. And I'll try not to do that again. Ah. Uh, I'm about to get uh, some magic here. That's right, I forgot. These refill and then you could use them. There it is. But I don't remember what button does it. I think it's going to be this button. Let's find out. Yep. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, so this is the way up. even hear those bees from here. Let's see if Seraph can remember how to do this. Yep, that leads me in here. So I need 10 more Emil to upgrade my sword again. Yep, here they are. Poison me, of course you did. Mm. Yeah, you're my poison. Alrighty then. Well, I should probably. Yep. I can't get that. Oh, that's super lame. But yeah, I'm down this much health. I need to get back to the spirit monument. Heal up. That's pretty much the, the common refrain of this game. Is continue to get stronger. Damn, I'm so close to... There we go. Perfect. Never mind. We can proceed. Let's head back up. <laughs> so, Granivalis is north of here. Right? Yep, we're almost to Granivalis at this point. Oh, wow. I already passed the Lime Water Cave. Yeah, that... That lime water cave sucks. Nope. Damn it. Main problem is I don't want to get hit by that fucking bee. And there's a bee boss. Which is gonna be faster. I can't believe I let that fucker hot hit me. So here's the bridge. Mostly this is Seraph just trying to figure out where shit is again. Oh shit, 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 shit! Yeah, it all kind of looks like one of those Fuko Pops. Oh, I think I just lost that level too. Yep, I lost that level. Fuck. I forgot they could stun lock you. That's my own fault. I should have gone back to save. So, uh, yeah, clearly this game is um, also a little more challenging than uh, the previous one. We will see game over a decent amount. <laughs> if you are not on your toes, you will die. It's that simple. That's right. We got our level back. Ugh, fucker, stop it! Shit. Let's 
see what's over here. But yeah, he totally does. That's funny. Ow, fucker. No. Alright, time to leave. Let's get back to that spirit monument. not lose our progress. I'm also trying to get to the point where I can uh, upgrade the sword. Because upgrading our sword is a big one. Plus, upgrading our equipment is important. We're also, you know, still stuck with this shitty equipment. So we're taking way too much damage. Yeah, maybe I should. You know what? We're not even all that far away. Let's just upgrade the sword now. Let's upgrade the sword now. We're this close. We didn't even get all that far yet. It's almost like a... You definitely get like D&D &D vibes where it's like, all right, build up your level, build up your supplies, work your way further and further out from your base of operations as you get stronger and stronger. Got a temper sword. We definitely need to do that. Yes. Perfect. Now we're level three. Perfect. Now we need 34 to raise it again. That's going to be a little harder. But we'll be able to do that. I need again? Round shield. Oh, we could buy the round shield. Shit, I should probably right buy the round shield. Because our defense will go up by six. Yep, let's do it. Let's begin. Let's equip. Yes. Yes. <laughs> God damn. And of course, as we upgrade our equipment, our uh, the actual sprites change, which is pretty neat. But I run all our money. So the next one was what, 650 or something? Takes a lot less hits to kill these things now. Hey buddy. I think I like the idea of going this way. Let's go left first. Damn it. I can't believe I let this fucker hit me again. All right, we're getting there though. Nope, oh, you little bastard. I said nope and he said yes. <laughs> I hate these fucking things. No, 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 no. Ah. Still managed to get me with that. But yeah, I gotta be careful of these things. Those things can absolutely completely fuck me up. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna die again. Can't seem to figure out how to kill those. Oh, here's the where the lime water cave is. Fuck. Can I kill even one thing in here? Oh, who are you? I thought Agu had arrived for a minute. Ah, so you're relatively new to Kanan Island. You look like you're a swordsman, but you'll want to be careful up ahead. This cave is extremely dangerous. It's so dark you can barely see what's in front of you, and the shells of the monsters are impossible to penetrate. You're welcome to try your luck here, but I would strongly suggest not going in without being fully prepared. Speaking of people going into dangerous places, I wonder what happened to that boy I saw earlier. He's the one studying under the scholar in town. I saw him chasing something north across the plains on my way here. In that direction lies the steep mountain we call Granavalis, though it's difficult even for seasoned climbers. 
I suppose he'll likely give up and go home soon enough. All right, so now we know that Er did not go in here. Hey, Kara, what's going on? Word. Did it not play the raid sound? Well, glad, these, glad you're here, Kara. Always good to see you. That's really strange. It played the raid sound for uh, Freakbot. I wonder if there's a setting somewhere. We should check that out sometime. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing that kills me. So we got to get away from that thing. We got to get away from that for sure. Bastard. Oh, not today. Lurking. Ah, uh, came in with... Ah, uh, gotcha. Good stuff. I appreciate you lurking. Hello, man. Good to see you. We're having fun here, obviously. It's just... Sometimes it's a little slow going because we gotta not die, which is always important. Fortunately, the hyenas aren't that much of a problem. But yeah, we uh, we certainly take our licks. That is for sure. But I'm glad I got it working. So let's try this again. We know Ur went towards Granavallis. Could have at least given me some cool shit there, guys. No? No? Not gonna? Fortunately, Adol has a good jump in this game. I hate those things. <laughs> Fortunately, we're about to level up again. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with those things. That I know I fucked up. Not the end of the world. Everybody. Man. Need a lot of money. Okay, so we got to this before. But I think we also alright. Uh I think this is actually the direction I need to go. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, they poisoned me. Damn it. At least we got them. Fuck. Fucking bees. I hate the bees in this game. And if this is what I think it is. Nope. Nope. Not doing that yet. Nope. Let's, uh, let's retreat for a minute here. Let's go back to the spirit monument. Ah, uh, enjoy. Have a good sleep, bro. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. It's always fun. Hang out. Do that. Yeah, fortunately the hyenas are pretty much... I mean, unless you're careless, they're really not much of a threat. You let them just jump, and then boom. We're making decent money here. But yeah, I'm just, I'm under level and I'm underpowered. It just takes a while. But yeah, we just, we just play. Thankfully, the action is fun. <laughs> and we're picking up nuts, which is good. I think we can only get nine of them, though. I think anything more than that, and it's just gravy. So... Take that, you little bastard! Uh, 
Here, guys. That's it. Thank you. We're almost there with that. Damn. That seems to be the way to handle those. Fine. Kind of inclined to go up to the mountain here. I don't see anything up here. Maybe Ur is in the mountain, but I think Ur is actually a little left. I think he's west. There is a uh, boss over there, and I'm pretty sure Ur is at it. Yep, here's Granivalis. Save here. Shit. Ow! Ow, ow! Try that again. <laughs> Shit. Forgot how tough these things are. Ow. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to handle these things yet, I don't think. I was trying to see if I could get some XP off of one of those little fuckers, but... What's going on here? Ow. Fuck. God, they hurt so bad. Okay, I can't jump up there. Well, that's that. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Let's, uh... Let's just hang around here and try to... If I, oh, I can upgrade my sword again. These bastards kill me pretty fast. I think it's just... Yeah, these bastards do kill me pretty fast. Alright, let's upgrade my sword. Again. At this point, we can make our way down there. Thank you. That'll certainly help with, uh... Damn. Thought I dodged it in time. I was wrong. Ugh. They don't really give you gold fast as I really would like. Well, that was pretty fun. Missed that one. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, bastard. Can you give me some ammo? No? <sighs> that fucking boss. I would prefer to uh, upgrade my armor before fighting this boss that's over there. That boss scares the shit out of me. But maybe we're good enough where we could do it. Maybe. Maybe. Let's try it. See if Seraph remembers where that boss is again, specifically. But yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> it's not one of my favorite bosses. <laughs> yeah, we'll upgrade you. Alright, now we're at level 4 sword. So we're good there. over this way. Yep. All right. Let's just try it. I think I'm going to show up here and this boss is going to kill me really badly. That's what I think is going to happen. But let's try it. Oh, 
nice of us, nice of them to give me ammo back quickly. Ah, now it does that. Cool. Now I just get this little extra whoosh afterwards. Which is awesome. Sweet. It's badass. So back up this way. Because if we just go straight left, that's where the fucking cave is. Right? If I go this way, is that the cave? I think limestone. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, fuck. Ow. Yep, those kill me pretty quick. Yep. I forgot those kill me so fast. Thankfully, we just saved. Let's try it again, this time without them killing me. Ugh. It's fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah, this game is no problem killing you over and over and over again. We will we will see the game over screen a lot. <laughs> that we will. Now I don't think we're gonna fight any bosses like we did in Oath of Fogana that just mercilessly kill us over and over and over again. Like you know, two of the bosses, the fucking mech, comes to mind. Ow! Fucking bees. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we avoid these. Got it. Yeah, we just avoid them. Okay. That was my fault. I forgot. I forgot. They're hazards to be avoided. Yep, and here's this asshole. Oh, cute. I can't... Yeah, I just die really, really badly. Yeah, this is the boss I was thinking of, though. Okay, but I don't see Ur. Right, right? Yes! Yes! <laughs> so yeah, we didn't do even one point of damage to him. This was, uh... Yeah, not... That was not where we were supposed to go. Oh, 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 and it lets us to... Okay, so yeah, we're, we're just leaving. Yeah, uh, let's try and get out of here. Let's just... Let's just get out of here. Okay. Fuck. Fuck! Maybe, maybe now we can, all right, let's try and get, whoops, that's not where I want to go. Maybe we'll go back to Granivalis, and maybe now we can actually freaking hit something with the upgraded sword. Maybe? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, well, that was cool. up there. Dead up there at all. Okay. So yeah. This is this is a cool mountain climb. But yeah, we're I think we're still under equipped for this. Okay, but at least we killed two of them. All right. That here. Heal. Head back. <laughs> we'll do some very quick power leveling here. I think this is what I did the first time, too. Thankfully, because of that whirling move, 
we can uh, we can actually hurt these guys. Let's head back out there. We'll kill a few more of these. Power level, bitches! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, fuck you! I don't think I'm supposed to be here, but because we can do this... We can just gain another level here really fast. We'll be very efficient with it. And then we'll go and get uh, ourselves better armor. So Ur is out here somewhere, right? Am I, am I supposed to go up the fucking mountain? Maybe I'm supposed to go up this fucking mountain. Look at that. Actually, just heal really fast. Hey, give me another level. Thank you. Okay, now we might be at a point where we're getting diminishing returns here. But they're giving me good... They're giving me good gold. They still hit like a truck. It's, uh... You. Actually, we're still getting a lot of XP for that shit. All right, one more level, and then we're back to Port Remorge. And then it'll be on to buying better armor and shit. And I think we'll come back up here. So I think this is where we're supposed to be. No, oh, didn't even get hit that time. Cool. Thank you. Shit, at this point, I'm gonna upgrade my sword pretty soon, too. These guys are giving me good ammo. Ouch. Yeah, that time they didn't give me any more. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Back to town. Back to town we go. We gained what, like three levels there? Something ridiculous. Oh, you little bastard. Ooh, give me that. Oh, I almost got you. I was so close. I almost had that dude. Nope. Nope. Let's just get out of that. That thing is just gonna stun lock me and it's going to suck. Oh, we're killing those in one hit. Did I just no-sell that thing? <laughs> it hit me and did zero damage. That was awesome. Alright, cool. Much better. Okay. But yeah, we could definitely afford the better armor, and then I'll try and figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. I think we can actually upgrade the sword again, too. Sweet. But yeah, we're looking for Ur, and we talked to that one dude, and he said he was chasing something in the plane and heading towards Granivalis. I thought that we needed to defeat that Bee monster. I thought Ur is by the fucking bee, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I mean, we couldn't even do a single point of damage on that bee boss, so I. Now I'm like. Now I don't really know. Maybe Ur is on Granivalis somewhere. So let's upgrade and then we'll start scaling Granivalis and see if we can find Ur. That's who we need to find. That is who we need to find. Let's go here. 
Yeah. Spy. If we can buy a magic talisman. Prevents curse. Well, that's pretty nice. We are not spending money on that. Yep. Ring mail. That works. Sweet. Big difference. Okay. Let's do this. Him. Going in the right place sometimes helps. Please tell me I can upgrade this. 88. Shit. I'm a little shy. Alright. But we upgraded our armor. So, man, we are really close to upgrading our sword. But I don't think we need to upgrade the sword necessarily. We definitely needed the armor. But I think now we can handle Granavallis. Let's try going up Granavallis. I mean, unless we get... Okay, yep, I was right. I mean, unless we get to 88 really fast. Alright, well, I'm liking this now much quicker ascent up this mountain. Or across the plains. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, give me that. I definitely need those flowers, because you guys poison the shit out of me all the time. But up Granavallis we go. And we're moving right along. Ooh, that was nice. Well, fine. Oh, come on. Yep. Alright, fine. Fuck it. Let's upgrade that sword. <laughs> we got that in a hell of a hurry, didn't we? We're just gonna run through. Do this really fast. And if I were really feeling adventurous, I could go into the... Hi, kitty kitty! Hello, Cleo! Hello, sweetie. What you doing? You gonna keep me company? Mm -hmm. What you doing, baby girl? Hello. Hi, honey. Good, good girl. Yeah. Hello. Good, good girl. I love you. Hello. Oh, headbutt. I know. I love you too. But as you can see, upgrading is an absolute key activity in this game. Yes. Temperate sword. Yes. Alright. Now, sword's level 5. Cool, cool, cool. I forgot how hot she was. Well, I mean, we could try the B-Boss again, but I think, I mean, we couldn't even do damage to that fucking thing, so I feel like Granivalis is where we're supposed to be. And then I'll have to deal with the B at some point later. Let's go up the mountain, see if we can find Ur. Really want to die that bad, they get buddy. There you are. <laughs> I like taking no damage. Do -do -do. Ba -ba -ba. Ah, 
you. Okay, gonna sit, sit by my foot. Good girl. All right, now let's see if we can actually ascend this fucking mountain. <clears throat> There we go. <clears throat> Nothing in there. Oops. What's in here? Nothing. I feel like there should be something in here. You jump down there if we want to. But now we've got Oh, that looks like a trap. That's so a trap. Fuck it. <clears throat> really? Oh, what else? Okay. I missed something. Is Seraph missing? All right, is this way to go? Nope. It's got to be one of these, right? Up way. No. Another way up. Another way up. Okay, is Seraph crazy? All right, what am I missing? We go down. Right. Right. Yeah, and low and out Okay. I remember this now. Oh shit. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. That way. But if you slice them fast enough, you can just deal with it. I don't think you get XP for it, but... Alright. I think I need to go down that way before dealing with this. Nope. Goodbye. What is going on here? Or is this an area... Oh, right. This is an area where if we fall... Right. There's areas where we could fall. Okay. And if we fall, we land here. Right. And we have to exit this shit. Ow. Well, that was worth a lot of Emil. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, probably wasn't worth doing. Yeah, should have done that. Don't try and time it. You're fine. Fire at me. I win! Well, except for the whole dropping thing. Okay, up we go. Oh, we get XP for those. Ooh, I timed that really close. That's fine. Let it explode. Head back this way. I love the music of this area, too. What are you doing, cat? I fear you're, you're twitching. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing, honey? What you doing? Ow, ow. Give me just two seconds. What's up, cat?
Yeah, she does that a little more, then I'll just assume she's hungry and wants something. Um, right, this way. Kill that thing. Oops. That was quick. Oops. And that. I knew you were in there, I saw you. Uh -huh. oh, boy. I think there's a secret, like, tunnel or something in one of these. But I could be mistaken. Maybe? Nope. Out mm -hmm. of you. Barely made it out of that. Man, does my nose itch. Oops. Oops. Ah. Oops. Right, we gotta jump up here. Get that thing to go. <laughs> hey, Nade, what's going on, buddy? We are finally playing E6. Oh, shit. Nope. Not today, you bastard. Actually, I think there's something to be had down there. How are you doing, my friend? I'm pretty sure there's something down there, but you know what? Let's try and we'll just find it. Uh... There you. You. Some raiding with Chris calling tonight. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you coming to say hi. Always nice. Always nice to see you. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, I fell. <laughs> We're going to do that a lot. Unfortunately, it's not too bad. Hey, buddy. Ooh. So we've gotten, we've, all that just to get to the midpoint. <laughs> just to get to the midpoint. But yeah, we're going to be climbing this for a while. Fortunately, we can't fall down that. Right. Forgot these things. Ow. Ouch there. <laughs> All right. So, let's have a here. I think we leave here, yep. I think we go this way, yep. That's how that works. This is... Oh, wow, nice. All right, cool. Shit. Nice. Let's equip that. Nice. Sweet. All right. That's this. Now where are we going? Oh, right, we go up. <laughs> we just keep going up. So now I have to figure out how we get up there. You. 
think I just I'm supposed to just go left. I don't remember. Is there any way up there? I'd like to get up there if I can. Let's go. I need to go left. Whoa. Right. The Wing of Alma allows us to uh, fast travel. I forgot about that thing. Yeah, the Wing of Alma is awesome. Ah, here's Ur. So we were going the right way. Crap, they got me cornered. Hey, no fair. There's a ton of you and only one of me. I'm a goner. Don't worry, I got you. One more? Oh, there is one more. There you go, kid. <laughs> we found him. Amazing! That was so cool! Thanks, you saved my life, you know that? I don't know who you are, but you're really strong. You finished off all those monsters like they were nothing. Huh? That's a funny coincidence. Your sword looks just like the one I've got at home. How'd you get it? Adol introduced himself and explained that Chief Ord gave him this sword. You're kidding. I can't believe my dad would give it to a Neresian when he hates them so much. He must really trust you. Anyway, I'm actually Chief Ord's son. My name's Ur. Nice to meet you. It's good to know they're all doing okay. I haven't been able to get in touch with them while the bridge is down, so I've been kind of worried. But man, this really isn't my lucky day. When I was out gathering herbs, I saw this red fairy carrying something sparkly off in this direction. I was kind of curious, so I thought I'd follow her. Before I knew it, I was, you know, all the way out here. Okay. Genius, er. Genius move. Professor Rabba must be worried about me, so I'm going to head on back to town now. Oh yeah, and there's an altar at the top of this mountain with a sword enshrined on it. You're a swordsman yourself, so maybe you should go pray at it, or do whatever swordsmen do at sword shrines. Catch you later. <laughs> yeah, we've rescued Ur. We have come to do what we needed to do. Um, right, that. Yeah, we got the... Uh, okay, so that was this. I do want to get up there, but I don't remember how to get up there. Right, we got a like, fall or something down here or something. Something weird like that. Let's go take a quick look. Oh, there's also this. There we go. I'll take a new shield. But I think we're going to wind down here. I'm just going to get a couple more things here. Let's take a look and see if there's anything else that we may have missed. Item-wise. But I think other than that, this might be... A good time for us to start thinking about retiring for the evening. Jump this way. Jump over here. Kill that guy. These guys are always nice XP. Take one of those. Thank you. Thank you. Oop. Not on this way. Oop. Oh shit. That was almost bad. <laughs> it's one of these guys. I think we could just ignore them. Oh, wow, we're actually getting some good money, too. Oh, also, let's... Let's equip that shield that we just picked up. It's amazing how uh, quickly these guys went from being... Legitimate threat to, uh, ah, that's right. This is the way down. Mm. 
you. Well, oh right, I forgot about the tabulas in this game. So we got one of those, and now we go down. Up out of you. This. Perfect. I don't remember what the Sylphian boots. Oh. I totally forgot about these Sylphian boots. Eh, eh, eh. Right. Prevents heavy. Right, now I don't have to worry about that if I so chose. Granted, my, I go down by two, but... I don't, I don't think I have to worry about that just yet, but still. Nice. Okay. We jump up here. Okay, but we go over here... And we use this item. Now we can go any place we've been before. We're gonna go to Port Remorge. Let's take a look and see if we can buy anything. I don't think... I don't think that, um... We can really afford anything from Rose's shop, but we'll try anyway. Ooh, we're getting close to the kite shield. But still, we've at least picked up some items on the way there that are pretty decent. Okay. But we're getting close to being able to upgrade. Let's go take a look at Rob. Let's, we'll say hi to Rabba now that we've saved her. He's still not back yet. All right. So I guess we have to just go to the very top. Okay, we have to go to the top of Granavallis until... And then Ur will show up. All right, well, not a big deal. Let's uh, let's cruise over here. We'll save one more time. And then uh, the next time we play this, we will cross... We will scale the Granavallis Mountain. Otherwise, this was a nice start to the whole thing. All right. Well, let's... Let's quit. Yep. And let's see who might be on. Let's see. While we figure things out here, we'll go to the uh, ending stream portion. While we figure out our raid. Raid! Why is that not opening? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Let's, uh, but yeah, let's see who's up. Let's see who's on. Let's see who's doing things. Oh, looks like Neon's going to be uh, playing some rando GBA stuff. Uh, oh, but Kai's on. Kai's doing some more Donkey Kong Country. We haven't raided out to Kai in a bit. Let's let's raid out to Kai. I think that sounds like a good plan. Oh, we got, uh, ah, yes, got Neuter Mass's Whisper. Thank you, Neuter. I will take a quick look at that. I appreciate that, my good friend. Let's set up this raid. Let's get this started. But otherwise, uh, I don't know if I will be streaming on Thursday because of uh, my school schedule. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how, we'll just play that by ear. Um, and we'll just kind of, pull, yeah, cause I'm, I'm, I'm running into some deadlines here. Uh, I'm running up on, on some deadlines. So I think a lot of it will depend on how, um, how I'm feeling and everything else. Um, uh, cause like I said, I, I stream when I'm looking to just take a quick break from that. So if I've hit that saturation point, then on, I will go. So I might be a little scarce over the next week or 10 days, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. At the moment, um, between Thursday night or Saturday, it's it's likely I'll stream one of them. I just don't know which one yet. But I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, when that happens. But in the meantime, I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your week. Thank you for joining me for this nostalgia trip on E6. This is one of my favorite entries of the series. At this point, each East game we play is, for the most part, going to be better than the one that came before it. Uh, it's it's a really lovely series, in my opinion. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this wonderful journey. Every, anyway, until next time, I hope everybody has a fantastic week. And until next time, I will talk to you guys pretty much approximately later. Okay, Twitch, can you...
go up the right here. Uh, it's it's getting kind of awkward. All right, awesome. <laughs> All right, we're ready here. Let's go raid guy. Tell him, uh, let's go say hi. Everybody, sayonara, and have a good one.